I want to show you a little nice tip for uh, Cyprus and aliases. I have here a test, actually two tests, and one does a, a check on um, UI level and API level, so it just checks that this API um, is there and that it has a status of 200, and the other one just checks um, if the API is there and that the status return is 200. Now, as you can see, I'm using aliases in, in both of these, and I want to make this test, well, cleaner. I want to um, make it reusable or to, to make it scale and to make it, make it nice. And one thing that came to my mind is, well, I have this code right here, and it's in both tests. So is there a way to make sure that this alias from here also works in here. So first thought that might come into your mind is, well, it's an alias, right? So I can try and call it from here. Um, so let's, let's try. If we run that, our first test will pass and the second test will fail because it cannot find room. Okay, so what about putting this room right from, from, from here, putting it in a hook. So I was thinking, okay, I'll take it from here and I'll put it into the before hook. So that means it runs before them and it should then pass. Let's see. And it seems we get the same issue. It goes okay for the first one and it doesn't work in the second one. So um, why is that? Well, because the before hook only runs, or it runs before all of the tests. So it runs once. And at the time that we have this check right here, the alias exists. After this test, the alias goes away or is basically cleaned by Cypress. So if you want to make this clean and, and work in both um, tests, you do, instead of before, you do before each. And now, if we run this, both our tests passed. So this was the first tip for aliases. Subscribe and like for more. As always, thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.